Hey everyone, my kitchen is a flurry of activity. So on the stove, I have some turkey bones and I'm making some broth. We have various jars sitting here for canning that. But today we are going to be working on a video I made exactly one year ago. And this is the best dinner rolls in a jar. Now I'm going to share with you why I'm making this again. It is absolutely the best. I have done so many different videos showing you different things to make in a jar. And this one is universally the best. And you can use this. Okay, just listen to this because I'm super excited about this because I found some really neat things I'm making with this. This you can use for pizza dough. This you can use for rolls. This you can use for bread. This you can use for cinnamon rolls. This is actually the best breadsticks in the whole entire world. They are so delicious using this mix. Today I am going to be making the breadsticks to show you, but it's so convenient, it's so easy, it's great for gifts, it's great in your pantry, it's great if you have company coming over and you don't know what to make, you just throw it into the bread machine or your mixer or stir it by hand. All of these ways you can make it, it's so easy. What we are going to do is, it comes from this cookbook. Now I shared this cookbook so much that I sold out of it three times, but this is the cookbook. I'm sure you can get it pretty cheap right now, but you have to be one of the first people to find it and get it cheap because once I make a video of this, everybody goes out to buy it. I will share with you the link of it in the description box for used. When it's used, you can get it for only a couple dollars until it sells out. Once it sells out, they're only going to have a couple and they're going to be $50, $60, $70 for the book. But right now, you can get the book for only $5 or less. But this is what they do. So booksellers online, when all of a sudden there's a run on the book, they're like, why is there a run on the book? We better charge a lot more. And just like that, when Homestead Tessie recommends a book, it goes off the shelves. And then all of a sudden, these people jack up the price so much. But right now, you can get it for cheap. All right, so this recipe is really different and I tried to find a way where I could do it a lot quicker, but I can't. We are just going to put all the ingredients into a large bowl. It has to be a large pan or bowl and we mix it up and then we just put it in our jars. This book here actually comes with a CD. I am using the CD and it has all the printables and they are so beautiful so the printables are like this they come with their own tags they come with their own printables and you can print them out beautiful this is ultimately 100 percent my favorite 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 craft book and book recipe book in the kitchen i make lots and lots of videos on this and it has been everyone's favorite as well and she is by Debbie Harmon. She has a whole series of books. I have all of them because I absolutely love the graphics, beautiful illustrations, but even more important, the recipes are amazing. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix this all up. It's simple. You don't need to have it written out. All you need to do is take a pen and paper and let me share it with you. One five pound bag of bread flour. Two cups of granulated sugar, that's the white sugar. One and one half cups of instant dry milk. It doesn't matter if it's instant dry, low fat or skim or whole milk. I use whole milk dried mix. And two tablespoons of salt. And then what you're going to do is you're going to not add the yeast to this. You're going to put the yeast on the label. So the label is three and three fourths cup of flour is going to go into your jar. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I will explain this more than once throughout the process. And then to that, you're going to add one package of yeast. So you're going to basically add almost four cups of this bread flour mixture 
and then you're going to add one tablespoon of yeast in an envelope if you wish or you can write it on the tag that's what you need to add to make it you're going to add one cup of warm water one teaspoon or one package of yeast one and one fourth cups of butter and one egg so let's before we confuse some of you who are new to making all of these kind of recipes let's go ahead and let's mix up the first step that's the easiest part it is five pounds of flour which equals 18 cups 18 cups of flour is five pounds of flour so I'm gonna add my 18 cups of flour two cups of sugar one and a half cups of dried milk and two tablespoons of salt Let's go ahead and let's get that started. All right, I have the 18 cups of flour. To this, I'm going to be adding two cups of sugar. Now, people are gonna ask me if I can substitute. I don't know. I just follow the recipe here. In this clip, I'm adding the dried milk, and I always do use whole milk. Now we're gonna add the two tablespoons of salt. This is Himalayan salt. It's a mixture. So I'm just adding this. It's regular and then it's Himalayan salt. Mix this up really, really well because you don't want to have some of it that's just the flour. When you're filling up your jar, make sure it is totally dry in the inside, outside, everywhere. Do not make the rims wet. This has to be totally dry. That's so important. If there's any even a little bit of moisture in here, it will make your flour mold. While I'm sealing them, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the label on them. I did print out some labels. So I just print them out and it came with the book. As far as the graphic, you have to have your own printer paper and of course you have to have your own ink. All right, so I want to show you what a beautiful subscriber gave me. Her name is Karen and she gave me a box of some really neat things and I'm going to show you today that she gave me some of these pot holders and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to be using them today actually with working on another project and then she gave me some ribbon and this is beautiful brown ribbon and I'm going to be using this in today's video to show you how you can decorate these jars so these jars here are sealed I'm going to go ahead and we are going to decorate them Your tag you're going to write best dinner rolls one cup of warm water one fourth cup of butter and one egg you're going to and the one envelope of yeast i actually use about a tablespoon of yeast when i make mine you're going to form it into rolls let it rise and then you're going to bake it at 350 to about 12 to 15 minutes all right everyone let's go ahead and make some breadsticks all right so all we're going to do is we're going to put everything in here it only takes a matter of less than a minute just to get this all started. I'm going to add a cup of water, warm water, then we're going to add butter, and I add three balls because they're like that's like a tablespoon. I forget what did it say it calls for? Three tablespoons. So that's what I use about them. Three. I add one more for good measure. I always do that. It, you cannot go wrong with this recipe. And then we're gonna add the three teaspoons of yeast, and that is one package. One, two, three. All right, we're just gonna set it on the dough section, and then I'll show you when it's already rose. All right, I'm just gonna turn it on. And when it's done rising, then we're going to shape them into the breadsticks. And then I'll show you how I use my pesto from this summer. And that's what makes the breadsticks. And wow, that is just the flavor just pops. We're going to sprinkle a lot of the cheese on. Let me tell you, the breadsticks are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So not only does this make rolls, this makes breadsticks, pizza dough, bread, and take a look at that. They are so good, and they turn out perfect. 
and they turn out perfect every time. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and I'll plate up our food and then show you that. And I hope you enjoy these videos because they're fun to make, and they're also really frugal as well. And this is what the rice looks like cooked up. So I add a little salsa on mine, and I add some cheese on it, and it's absolutely amazing. I add a couple pieces of chicken I put in when I was making the rice, and that is a complete meal. Rice, veggies, and meat.